Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate to you the digital signature features of SD25 tags. As you can see, these two tags look almost identical. From the outside, you can't tell which one is which. And if you take a phone and you tap on one, it would take you to www.sd.com, right? Now, if I tap the other tag, it also took me to www.st.com. Although they share the same URL, these two tags actually have special signatures on them. Only one of these tags has a signature that proves to this reader, which is consisting of an SCM32 F41RE nuclear board and the SC25R3911B transceiver board. This reader is an embedded reader. So in a way you can think of it as if it was embedded in a door for a hotel or any sort of application that allows some kind of NFC authentication or NFC access, for example. If I tap this tag, it show me that this is a tag, but it doesn't do anything more than blinking this LED identifying uh, the tag itself. If I tap this tag, notice that the different light patterns it means that this reader has a certain kind of code um, firmware I would say that basically identify and authenticate the signature store on this tag although this tag looks the same as that start storing the same content this one actually has a special signature so it would be very difficult to clone this tag particularly so this tag is not doesn't have any special signature as you can see. This tag has a special signature. So when you look at application like this, you can actually use it for something that basically like a brand protection application when you can embed a tag with a special signature so that you can distinguish from the 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 articles or product that has been cloned. Alright? Thank you.